everybody be asking, hey, two time, where your head like that, man? You got in an accident or something, man? Be like, nah, man, I'm just trying to get all the horsepower I can out of this puppy, man. That's why I'm missing my head like right now, man. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Two Time Moto TV, and we back with another video, man. Today, we're gonna be doing a DIY on the headlight. We're gonna try to make it like a Challenger uh, headlight snorkel. I know you guys seen like the new Challengers. They got like the fake uh, headlight ring, and then that's actually the intake hole, the where it uh, brings in all the cool air, all the outside air, and as you're driving, it's basically just sucking in all that cool air, man. That's basically what we're gonna be doing with the Crown Vic today. So I took my headlight out. I have a three inch air duct that I'm gonna try to cut a hole in it. So, hey, wait until this video is done so that you guys can see what I did if y'all wanna attempt this project. I'm basically gonna butcher up these nice headlights, man. These things was expensive. You can find them online. I think now they're probably going for like three, maybe $400. But this is a trial and error kind of process, and this is something that I really want to do. This is something that I want to put my own little flavor on. So we're going to definitely cut out. As you guys can see, I have uh, a projector beam that's there to the left. And then I have the high beam, which is in the inside there. Uh, I'm going to cut the high beam out because I rarely use my high beams ever. Uh, them jokers are so dim, man. It's just really no need for it. Besides getting an inspection, so um, I have another option for that, so I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna go in and show you guys all of the tools and stuff that I'm rocking with and what it's gonna take to actually get a Challenger snorkel headlight on the 2004 Crown Vic or any Crown Vic or any Grand Marquis or Mercury Marauder. You guys gonna wanna have that cool air coming in man at all times so y'all stay tuned man we'll be right back so these are all of the tools that we're gonna be rocking with today guys i know you guys know what majority of this stuff does it's basically to put holes and stuff got a couple screwdrivers there got a drill also got another drill on standby when the cop from harbor freight got a little template for the holes that i'm gonna be using a little small piece but that's the actual hose there not going to need all of that but got it just in case and here's the headlight here so as we discussed i'm going to be drilling out this high beam over here keeping my projector beam because that thing's a beast i'm gonna uh drill out this high beam section um, a lot of guys at the shops were worried that I may get a little bit of moisture in the headlight. Hopefully that's not the case. I'm going to try to seal it uh, with, some, with some kind of silicone uh, towards the end when I get done. So, I mean, even if I do have a moisture issue, I just buy another set of headlights later on down the road and then uh, try it again. So, this is going to be our first attempt at hollowing out a three inch hole where this high beam section is here <clears throat> my only concern is all of this metal back here metal and aluminum just trying to drill through that so we'll see how it works guys first order of business there are two phillips screws that you can get to in the back of the high beam area so we're going to be using a phillips screwdriver Taking these two Phillips screws out. Hopefully that'll get that first plate out for us. And we don't have to chew through a lot more metal. These uh, metal blades there. So yeah, just take these two screws out. And we're going to see what we got. So with this metal bracket taken out, which was just the two Phillips screws, you just want to set this to the side. What I did was I went on ahead and made a template around where I want to cut. So I made a template with this. Uh, air duct here, which is a three inch As you guys can see I'm staying in between the screw hole here and that little knot there and all of the rest of the screws and everything else that's around it So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna drill it out Which I have my three inch drill bit here. Just gonna take my time. I'm gonna drill this uh, Plastic off in the back right here 
So once I get this off, <clears throat> then I get to see what all I got in here and how I want to uh, finish up from there to try to get the hole in front of the headlight. But this drill bit right here is a little bit smaller than this. So this right here will fit nice and tight in there, as you guys can see. Uh, it has a little bit of flexibility with it. So I shouldn't have any problem with any kind of moisture getting in there. Not unless that this bit start walking on me or something like that. But like I said, I'm just going to take my time. You guys just take y'all time with it. And then uh, it should come out in y'all favor. So we're going to give it a shot. As you can see, I drilled the first hole out. It's pretty circular. Um, so next I'm drilling into this metal plate here. As you guys can see, I already pretty much ate through on one complete side. And this side right here is almost gone as well. So I had to about to hook up my more powerful drill. I don't know why I won't focus, but yeah. <clears throat> about to hook up that drill. I just came from using that one. There we go. Just came from using that one. That one's not strong enough to go through that metal. So I will be using a uh, corded drill instead of an electric to try to eat through this metal with the same blade. And then um, we're going to see what we got from there. And then I'm going to see if I can go through the front here and make a template on the front and try to drill a hole out in the front. So I'll be right back with y'all. Over half of the battle was won already, y'all. Look at that. That is pretty dope. This is the front of the headlight. This is where that snorkel is going to go through. Over half of the battle was won. So, this is the metal piece that I cut that you guys could see that was attached to this metal here. So, like I said, I just took my time, went through it. Didn't do it all at one time, you know, I kept backing the blade out, making sure that everything was centered, making sure I wasn't cutting through any wires or anything. And then, um, back and forth, man. So, I was able to get this metal bracket right here out. Then this right here was connected to that metal bracket. So, I was able to get those two screws, those two screw holes that you guys see, with the Phillips head, after I cut the black part of this. And, um... This right here is like a plastic, so I just took some uh, needle nose and then just went at it, man. And I was able to slide this out the back. And then there you go, you got a perfect hole, man. Perfect hole to where I can squeeze that air duct through it, but this is only half of the bottle, guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to heat I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm going to heat up this just so it don't crack everywhere. Uh, I'm going to heat it up a little bit and then I'm going to take that same drill bit, which I'm going to probably start a pilot hole first. So that's what these are for. I'm going to start me a little pilot hole and then I'm going to go through the center wherever I want it. And then I'm going to keep going up a bit and then I'm going to take this, which has a pilot bit on it, hopefully, that I can just get through it with that and uh, start it and then take that uh, bigger drill, that bigger drill bit and uh, come through the front of this. But I wanna heat this up first just so it don't crack everywhere. But this is my main concern, it's this front glass here or this front plexiglass or plastic or whatever it is. Guys, I just want y'all to know, man, anything's possible that you put your mind to. Don't let nobody tell you you cannot do something. Yo, if I can do it, you can do it. Y'all can do the same thing here, man. This is my first time attempting this. I just took my time. Whatever you guys take y'all time with, you can accomplish anything. A lot of shops said that this couldn't be done, that I probably end up cracking the glass and uh, messing up this internal piece right here and all that other kind of crazy mess, leaking water. Yo, I'm not in belief with that, yo. They said it couldn't be done, and I did it. At the comforts of my own home. As you guys can see, that's a pretty nice hole there. And this thing right here is going to fit extra tight in there. So, I'm just going to silicone around the front. Just as soon as I get it in there. And then I'm going to silicone around the back. And everything should be watertight. So, you guys can do the same thing, man. I'm going to run this 
air duct straight to my cold air intake. It has a three inch hole in the front of the cold air intake as well. So I'm just gonna run it straight through the front of this headlight. And it's gonna be just like the challenges, how they got all of that forced cold air coming from the outside in. And then I'm definitely gonna have to go and get another tune with this. Cause it's gonna be reading a lot of forced air coming from the outside in. And I shouldn't have to wor worry about water getting in my air box or nothing like that. Cause the challenges and all that stuff don't have to worry about that. Um, two, I really don't drive my car in the rain like that. So this should suffice for a little increase in horsepower, probably better fuel economy, more combustion, more explosion. The whole nine, just more horsepower, man. A little bit more torque and all this in there here, man. Especially like forced air going in there from the outside. I'm getting nothing but cool air now. So yeah, y'all, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm about to go ahead and try to slide this hose on in there, and uh, we'll be right back. And I did end up putting some flex seal on the lights, so I can clean that little bit of residue off. I'm gonna probably take like some airplane cleaner, something that ain't gonna uh, eat that a uh, glass. Uh, it's not glass; it's like plexiglass. Something that's not gonna eat that plastic or plexiglass up. I clean that off, and then I already have what belonged to the cold air intake uh the front little inlet part i already put that in there and as you guys can see i don't know if y'all can see that but she's in there fairly well secured so i'm gonna go ahead and install the light and we're gonna see what we got at the end here so y'all stay tuned so far so good it's not finished yet but everything is working properly gonna definitely look way better than that I'm gonna put some kind of border around where you can see the flaps at uh, I just bent the flaps back basically cut them you can see where I slid them cut them and then glued it down and uh, so I'm gonna put a border around it so that it looks uniform then I'm gonna also clean the light off because as you guys can see it's fairly dirty from spraying that uh flex seal and putting some silicone and everything on to make sure that she's waterproof but she is very much functionable set the camera up for you guys and let you guys see with a bag i got a bag and then i'm gonna rev it and then i'm gonna show you that it's gonna try to suck the bag in so y'all check this out Y'all see, she's sucking air, man. A lot of it. Getting all that cool air from the outside. Plus, when I drive, it's almost like a ram air. So it's forcing air in. It ain't getting nothing but cool air. And you guys see that I had to put the reflector gold. And the rest of the trim on there, man, so I can keep everything nice and cool. Yo, I believe it definitely made a difference. I'm gonna have to go and get another tune added on with this because I'm sucking way more air in than what I was before. So that little base 93 tune, and then, you know, he tried to map a little bit of air with it. I did this after the tune. So he told me to go ahead and do everything that I'm gonna do with the cold air intake. Go ahead and do everything that I'm gonna do with everything. So I'm gonna take it back to him, go get a whole nother tune. Like I say he just got the bass tune on it right now. Guys, she is running, running. 
I want to I wanna give it about 400 and some horsepower. You guys are saying that it ain't going to do that and I ain't going to see them kind of numbers. I may not see them kind of numbers with the wheels on it, but I guarantee you if I take them wheels off, yo, she's going to be every bit of like 450, 460. Well, how she running with these wheels on it? Yo, the next video, I'm going to definitely document it. I'll show you guys how she running. I'm going to get somebody the video cord for me. I'm going to do some flybys and stuff. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that, man. Flybys in the next video. Dropping. Be tuned in. Since y'all think that this Crown Vic ain't running now. <laughs> Look, y'all can hear. Y'all can hear it camming. How you doing? Yeah, yo, she's running, running. So, yeah, man, make sure y'all hit that sub button. Hit that notification button as well so y'all can be notified of my future uploads. Smash that like button. Guys, let's get this vid up to a thousand likes. This will be my first one, like, high in likes. So let's get this vid there, man, and then I'm gonna do a lot more extreme stuff. So, I know you guys ready to see this Crown Vic run. Definitely next video, man. I'm gonna give y'all some drive-by, fly-by footage, everything. So yeah, man, two-time Moto TV out, man. Y'all stay safe out there, and until next time, peace.